Hey friends, so welcome back. Well, shoot, I've been the one that's been gone, so hello. Um, okay, so I have I have been trying to figure out what to vlog because, I mean, it's corona time, so I'm not really doing much of anything, so um, me and my boo are going to go to Bahama Books. And he's never had Bahama Books before. If you don't know what Bahama Books is, it's a snow cone shop. It's a chain, so you might have them where you are. But they have the best ice. Like, you cannot... There's no snow cone shop I've ever been to that compares. No, like... No snow cone shop. No, um... No like frozen thing you can get like no icy no thing from qt like nothing compares to bahama books and for the longest time they only had them i had only had it in texas in my college town in lubbock but they finally put one in dallas that's closer to where i live in the suburbs so i've been very excited i've already been but he still hasn't been and we both actually went to the same college um and somehow he never had Bahama books while he was there and I don't know how because it was super popular but yeah we're gonna go to Bahama books hopefully he will let he will get on camera but I don't know he be acting shy sometimes so yeah just gonna you know cute little Bahama books I'm in my Target couture listen I'm just like so busy i've been so busy at work um maybe i'll i'll put in some some skating footage too just so y'all can see my skate journey update um but yeah we're just gonna have some fun at the bahama books today okay so we just got to bahama books and once again the line is wrapped around the building so there's one side that is the drive through window and uh this is where i am so We'll probably just be in line for a while. Say hi. Okay, well, he's not, hi, used, hi. To be, he's not used to shy. being on camera. Yeah. I told him that before we got here, so. <laughs> but, so you think, so you are on the side of like, Kim, him getting with Kim started the problem. I don't think it's him getting with Kim, but I think her lifestyle chance him like yeah she might be a great woman for him but like her public i don't i don't okay the thing is though he was never even on the show until last season but it's still a part of you like if you and your wife are one even though you're not in front of the camera that lifestyle still affects you so much speaking from the outside looking in because i'm not part of that lifestyle I, yeah, but I don't, I, so here's my thing. I just feel like everybody, first of all, people are always cracking jokes, right? Like about the Kardashians and what they do men and whatever, whatever. But I just don't really. I disagree with that though about what people say about that. I, those men chose to be with those women. So right. that's my thing. But like, that's also how I feel about Kanye. Like, I don't think him dating Kim just magically made him bipolar. I don't. I don't, I'm not sure what people expect Kim to do about his mental health issues besides try to help him. Well. Like, you can uh, lead a horse to water, but you can't make him drink. I, well, don't, I don't necessarily put anything on Kim. I don't put nothing on Kim. Kim, all she can do is kind of what she's trying to do, which is be, like, a great wife and stuff. Yeah. I mean, but at the end of the day, like, their lifestyle changes, affects people differently. I mean, like Dave Chappelle, it affected him, and he would take up and down. Like, like people, like, everybody's not crazy, and his lifestyle makes people crazy. And him being more of that lifestyle, I believe, is what had that effect on him. Mm, I guess. I guess. I don't know. I mean, yeah, I don't know. I just feel like the same things would have happened because he's, he is Kanye West. Like, are you saying mm. that? He he would have probably just been more secluded, like basically on some J Cole type of. I don't even know what J Cole does. <laughs> nah. I assume that J Cole stays at his house, 
until he feels like he wants to leave versus Kim is at every party and is everywhere. Like, it's... I think if it's not Kim, so if Kim was a regular, smegular person and he was with Kim, mm -hmm. none of this would be happening. But she's Kim Kardashian, which Kardashian is tied to what? A lot of camera time and fame and everything that goes behind the scenes of that. I, There's no off button. There's no off switch. There's constant go. I think I think he would still have the same problems. They just wouldn't be on public display. Well, it wouldn't be a public circus. So, yeah, I agree. It wouldn't be this big circus outwardly. Oh, he wait. Might be. Pause. Are you saying if Kim was regular and he was still Kanye West? Yeah. I don't... I don't understand that viewpoint because he is still a celebrity. He was a celebrity before he met Kim. He, you, like, he basically got Kim to the Kim that she is today. I don't think if Kim would have stayed with Chris Humphreys, she would not be at the level that she is now. She couldn't get a, a an invite to a Met Gala. Well, yeah, like, so yes, he made her better, yeah. But that also elevates her lifestyle to create what? more camera time and more behind the scenes preparing for camera time and being ready at all times there's no off switch is what i'm saying there's no off switch but if he was a rapper there would be an off switch yes i mean i mean not if he was a rapper but if kim was regular and he was just yes a rapper. just regular kanye like yes he has his like yes no no doubt he has his problems but it wouldn't be as bad as it is right now so this has to do with kim being a reality tv person yeah more. That's why I say it's not Kim, it's her lifestyle. Like, hmm. I get it, but also, I don't know. Because I just feel like Kim changed so much about herself when they got married to, like, fit Kanye's, like, point of view. I don't know. I think that... I mean, when people change when they're, when they're dating someone, and they kind of... Everyone's a freaking shapeshifter of some type of form, and they kind of, like, shift a little bit and give to be with the person they're with. What did you say? <laughs> but yeah, so, I mean, pretty much, like, people are all shapeshifters of some type of form and fashion. And you tend, you tend to kind of shape, you inform yourself a little bit more to be with the person you're with, ultimately making you better. And that's what people mean when they say, you make me better. You shifted me in the right direction. Yeah, so I definitely agree with that. Here's, here's what I think. I think that when they first met what you are saying happened right like mm -hmm. kanye put her on a whole nother level like he went through her closet and was like this is whack you need to get rid of this like you know whatever and then and i think now since 2016 um like he he was he was all that for her when they first got together and i'm sure you know she had stuff for him or whatever ever but like right now this is her time to be that like change for him and so she's trying to hold it down but at the same time it's not the exact same thing because this is also a mental health issue yeah it's not just it's not just like oh you kind of suck so let me like bring you up a little bit it's like okay you really have some stuff that we need to go through yeah i think and she I have to has to find a way to communicate with them I mean, he ain't trying to hear her right now, so... Because she's already kind of offset at that communication. Like, being with somebody who's, like, in that space, the people who's with that person in that space, i.e., like, the wife, the kids, the husband, anybody around that person is in the most vulnerable state because anything you can kind of say and do can kind of, like, change it. Okay, so here is the menu. You can literally the snow if you want it like i don't know who's doing that who's wasting money on that but you can do it well what do you um so it's a lot they have margarita mango melon passion fruit peach strawberry strawberry cheesecake strawberry colada strawberry daiquiri passion fruit okay i'm going to get okay well, if we play views, we'll get demonetized. Passion fruit. Passion fruit is more life. Leave me alone. 
Um, I am. Ooh, super sour apple. I just want something very sour. That's all. Sour. I got Sour Patch last time. It really just didn't hit like that. I'm gonna do... Should I do Airheads Extreme? I'm gonna be mad if that's sweet that's and not sour. sour. No, I got Warheads last time. It did not hit. I'm gonna get Super Sour Jungle Berry. Let's mix it up a little bit. Yeah, it's sour like Super Sour. Yeah, exactly. Supposed to be, yes, Luxury Opulence. Okay, we got to the snow cones. Let me find a parking spot real quick. It's the best we can do for now. Okay, you ready? Ah. Okay, hold on. Okay. You Not gonna lie, it. it looks like it doesn't have any flavor on it. Let me see. It looks very this is flavorless. His. You have to talk louder. It looks very you don't flavorless. Have to yell. Just don't whisper. <laughs> no, it looks very flavorless. Like it looks like maybe I'm just used to like hood snow cones where they're very, very juicy. It's a hit. You don't like it? I mean, it's good, but it's not. <laughs> it's so good. The ice. It's about the ice. It's not like getting something from like, like Oak Cliff or like the Soto. You know what? Vlog is over. <laughs> He's a hater. You don't know luxury. It's fine. No, I do. That does something. This is a luxury snow cone. Um. I'll save my comments off camera. No, you have to leave them on camera or I won't have anything for the video. It comes with a cool spoon. Changes with the temperature. <laughs> this is what happens when neighborhoods change and the culture gets taken over by some other. Are you saying <laughs> Are you saying I'm enjoying a gentrified snow cone? That's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> Do you feel the difference in the ice? No, I do. <laughs> well, anyways, I never had jungle berry, and if you like very sour snow cones, then this is the one. It's sour and flavorful. I could use yeah. a little salt and pepper on it. Just some seasoning. You ordered a weird. You don't want to order that weird flavor. <laughs> Whatever. I don't care. I'm still coming for home bugs. I don't know. Yours look like flavorful on the inside, though. That's how it's supposed to look on the outside. Let me taste yours. I don't know. You got that uh, COVID, do you? COVID? No. Nice. <gasps> oh. Ah! You spilled it on me. Sorry. Nah, I did. I myself. don't like that. It tastes like coconut. Ah. Oh. Hit the other side. <laughs> <laughs> he is not a believer yet but I think if he gets the right flavor he'll come around but I, I don't know this might be the end of the vlog so I'm gonna say bye but yeah after reading this it's probably shit. greatest snow on earth it's so do you not feel the difference in the ice? I mean, a lot of you, people have you shaved don't, ice. This is not the same. The way that they shave this ice, it's like... I'm just not understanding what you don't see. So, you know, in the hood, they wrap a little napkin around all the snow cones they give out. They supposed to give us one. When You ever, you ever got one with a umbrella in the hood? Now, nah, because they say true to themselves, like, I mean, 
I mean, it looks like either like a Hawaiian umbrella or an Asian umbrella. It's a Bahama umbrella. Oh, so it's an island umbrella. Because it's Bahama Bucks. Who owns this place? Listen, this is only the immaculate. You have to have taste. Bahama Bucks, if you see this, please sponsor me. Oh, that what we're doing? What? Well, you should tell me how to talk to them. <laughs> this right here, I had a lot of snow cones. <laughs> This is a snow cone. No, you have to tell the truth. <laughs> it is the truth. <laughs> this is a snow cone. <laughs> My Starbucks. I mean, it gets better when you get to the inside, you know. But, like, face value, they'd be better off instead of trying to make it look pretty with the hump on the top. Just give me an extra large cup and put the snow in a cup and drown it with the, with the syrup. One thing I will say is the sour sand is kind of, kind of annoying because they only put it on the top. Like, keep that same energy through the whole thing. But as long as you get a sour flavor, it's okay. And I know y'all can't see me right now, but I didn't bring my vlogging camera, so I'm just using my phone. Anyways, uh, we'll go round two. He'll change his mind. And I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.